Hey everyone, Madison from Berkeley Rec Sports here with another workout for you. Today we have a 30 minute glute burner. Uh, you'll need a mat or a soft surface to sit on. Um, I have a timer going, but if you want one, it'll be 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. And then I have a band for some additional resistance. If you are interested in adding that, great. Um, if not, you can still get a great workout without the resistance band. So let's get started with the warm up, and then we'll hop right into working it out. So we're gonna start with a nice light jog. Just get that body moving. Swing in those arms. Excellent. You might see down on the ground here. I have my, here. <laughs> I have my timer. Kick your booty. Stretch out those quads. It's going to be, again, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. When it's red, that means you're working. When it's green, that means you are taking a break. Let's get into some squats, just nice and easy. Down and up, whichever hip distance leg distance works best for you. Just nice and gentle, down and up. Excellent, three more, three and two and one. Let's go into some reverse lunges, stepping it back, making sure that front knee is over that ankle and you're getting that stretch in that back hip flexor. Excellent. Four more, and three, and two, one. Bring it up for some hip openers, just rolling it around, back and forth. Excellent. Using that core, engage it to get that leg up and around, stretching out those hips. Body's starting to heat up a little bit. Excellent. Back and forth one more. All right, into some figure fours, alternating sides, kicking it out and sitting whoop, into that glute. Back and forth. Excellent. Four, three, two, and one. All right, some nice gentle side lunges, stretching out inside of those thighs. That's going to get a lot of work today. So we want to make sure it's nice and ready and loose for some awesome work. Back and forth. Whew. Four more. And three. Two. Perfect. Frankensteins. Let's reach for those toes. Stretch out those hamstrings, however high you can go to get that great stretch. You don't have to reach all the way up. Four more, three, two, one. Last one, we are going heels to toes. So back on your heels and up on your toes, getting that lower body. Nice and engaged. We do have a few cardio elements to this workout. So we wanna make sure our whole body is nice and ready to go. But mostly it's gonna be a booty burner. Three and two and one. Perfect. So again, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. I'm gonna start with the band on. Again, when that timer shows red, we are working, and I'll let you know, it'll bing too, and when it turns green, that means you're resting. So first exercise is just gonna be a nice, simple squat. If you have that band, feel free to add it, feel that resistance, make sure those knees are going right over where those toes are, they're not going in. It is challenging to keep those legs out. That's what the band is for, adding some resistance. So 45 seconds of work. In three, two, one. Single bell. That's work. Nice, gentle, not necessarily going for speed, going for that strength. Down 
up, squeeze those hips up at the top, trying to push it forward, squeezing that glute as tight as it can up at the top. Excellent. Keep it going. Almost there. Five more. Three, two, one time. We are going into a side lay with our band on. You're just lifting that top leg up and down. You're trying to squeeze as tight as you can on the side. We're not rolling back. We're rolling forward right on the side, lifting and lower. Again, nice, slow, and controlled. We're really trying to burn it out. Halfway. Up and down. Keeping that foot facing forward. Not turning it out. Five more. And time. Switching over just to that other side. Again, band or no band, it should be firing those glutes up. Three, two, one. Work it out, 45 seconds. Foot flex, facing towards. The front of you. Nice, slow, and controlled. Again, staying right on that side. We're not rolling forward or to our back side. Really trying to burn the top of that leg out. Ten more seconds. All right, if you wanna keep the band on still, that's totally fine. We have a giant hop forward, hop into a squat, and you're either walking or you are quickly scooting back. This is the cardio element, 45, work it out. Use those arms as big as you can, as far as you can. If you need lower impact for that body or you're in an apartment, give me a nice, giant step forward and still scoot it back. Whew. I'll tell you, we have five sets of 45 seconds of some cardio. Everything else you get to just hang out for. Almost there. I'm perfect. Just taking that band off, we're back to the ground. On one side, it's going to be that lower leg. You're going to reach it up towards your foot. Up and touch. Squeezing the whole inside of that leg, that hip complex. Again, nice and slow. Breathing. Feel that heart rate gear up and start to cool down from that cardio set. Fifteen more. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Switching over, other side. Again, that lower leg, squeezing right along the inside, that hip flexor, all the way up to your foot, and down. Nice, slow, and controlled. Sitting on the side of that hip, up and down. Whew.
Inner thighs on fire. You have 10 more seconds. Time. Staying on the ground, flipping back over to that first side. Still laying on that side, you're gonna lift those hips and clamshell. You're just opening that top leg back, squeezing that upper side of the glute as you rotate, squeezing that lower side of the glute as you lift. Ooh. even working that core as we're squeezing up keeping it nice and engaged 15 more seconds Whew. five more and time other side Again, laying on that side, lifting that hip up off the floor, opening that leg and back down. And then nice, soft touch. We're not laying on the ground. Just dip it down, touch for a second and back up. Nice work. Keep on breathing. We've got a cardio set coming up next. It's kind of nice to have a little break from that total glute burn, almost there. Excellent, so we have a side shuffle back and forth. Option to drop a squat to give me a tuck jump, to give me a one leg stance, add a band if you want, 45, work it out. The lower that band is on your legs, the harder that resistance is gonna be. Again, trying to get that heart rate up. Add a tuck jump if you want, add a balance or just scoot it back and forth. Whew. 10 more. All right, we got fire hydrants. I'm gonna use the band up to my knees, right above them. And we're just lifting that leg just like a dog, put into a fire hydrant, up and down. 45 seconds. Whew. Feel that heart beat. Breathe. Come back down. Keep even weight distribution on your hands. We're not trying to lean for that lift. Whew. Up and down. 10 more. Three, two, one time. We got our other side. Again, even distribution. We're not rocking to get that leg up. We're working that core and those legs. 45, work it. Whew. Trying to get that belly button to that spine, keeping that core nice and engaged. Keep on burning. 15 more seconds. Three, two. 
two. One, perfect. Back up on our feet. You have a squat walk. So two nice big steps, right and left. Back the other way. Trying to keep that head down, 45, the entire time until you raise and squeeze as tight as you can up at the top. Again, trying to press those hips forward up at the top. Squeeze. Feeling that work that you've done so far up at the top when you squeeze that glute. 10 more. Perfect time. Taking that band off if you have it on. We have a plie squat, so feet are turned out. Nice wide stance, knees are going over those feet. Pulse it for five, three, four, five. Raise it back up. We're squeezing the inside of those legs as you pull it up. Four, five, pull it up. We got a burner of a finale coming up for you guys. Two, three, squeeze. Feel a magnet pulling those legs together up at the top. 10 more seconds. All right, back to our cardio options. You got scissor hops back and forth. You have scissor hops to a lunge, or you have jump lunges. 45 seconds, pace yourself, work it out. If you need to alternate to keep you going, you do that. seconds. Keep it up, whatever you're doing. Don't stop. Three, two, one. Excellent. Whew. Back down to the ground. Upper leg starting out far, lifting it all the way back. Back and forth. Lifting it up over that bottom leg and back, whew, 45, you got this. Again, staying right on that hip, we're not rolling over. You want that work to be right on that glute. Three, 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 10 more. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! Your legs better be on fire. Cause mine are. We got the other side. Again, bring that foot forward. Doing a rainbow to the back side. 45, back to work. And right on the side is where you're burning. Whew. Almost there. Ten more. Whew. 
rest back up onto our feet. Good news, four more exercises. Bad news, they're hard. Easy side lunge back and forth, sitting into that glute. If you want more, you meet those feet in the middle as you rotate. Whew. Or nice deep stretch. The focus is that depth, pushing that glute as far back as you can. And trying to squeeze those legs together up at the top. Ooh. Feel those legs on fire. Five more. Three, two, one time. Still staying on our feet. Nice big plie position. Feet facing the corners, knees going right over that plie squat, and you're raising those toes up at the top, burning those calves. And again, squeezing those legs together at the top. Whew. Trying to push those hips forward. Push them forward when you get to that top. Whew. Don't forget to keep that core engaged. Belly button to spine. Five more. You got this. Three, two, one. Last two. Options. Out and in. Quick feet or you're hopping in and out, keeping that head down, that level. You can also tap it side to side. As long as you're keeping that squat 45, work it out. Variate those options. Work that coordination. Work that heart rate. You can give me taps. You can get even lower if you need more. Woo. You got this. You got this. Keep it up. Keep that heart rate. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one. 180 squat jumps. You can give me nice, easy squat. You can give me squat hops. But the goal is squat 180. Rotate. Work it. Last set, I promise. Ooh. Glutes, heart on fire. Whew. Need a break? Give me some hops. Give me some squats. Squeeze that glute up at the top. Whew. Halfway, you got this. Keep on burning if you're doing those hops. You're crushing it. Keep it. Ten more. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. That is it. That's all you got. That is your butt leg burner. We're gonna break it down. Give me some gentle butt kicks. Ooh. Bring that heart rate down. Ooh. Some figure fours. Step and sit. Ooh. A little active stretching while your heart is still beating really fast. Helps your body cool down a little bit. And then we'll go into some, into some static stretching. Whew. Let's reach for those toes. 
Look at those Frankensteins. Oh, feel those legs nice and heavy, nice and strong from all that work. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Bring it into a nice deep squat and press those arms against those legs. Get that deep hip stretch. Yes. And sit it into one side. Get that stretch on that leg. That calf being stretched out. Rotate runner's lunge or drop that knee. Stretch out that hip flexor. You can reach up and over. If you want a deeper stretch, that front knee just stays on top or behind that ankle. And push it back. Stretch that hamstring. Woo. Let that sweat just take you over. Heart should be cooling down a bit. All right, back into that sumo squat. And rock it to that one side, the other side. Stretch out that hip and that calf at the bottom. And rotate, maybe that runner's lunge. You can drop that knee, reach up and over, whatever feels good to you. Excellent, scoot it back, stretch that hamstring. Further you reach those hands, further you drop that chest, the deeper the stretch. All right, back into that sumo. Stretch it. I am just dripping beads of sweat everywhere. Shoot that glute to the ceiling, stretch out those hamstrings, rock it side to side. Let that upper body just hang, nod yes, nod no, let that neck relax. And bring it together, slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders, neck, head being last. Find that figure four. Sit into that glute. Find a chair, find a wall if you need some help balancing. Switch sides. Perfect. All right, three times, nice deep stretch down. Reach up, gentle lean back, rock it side to side. Those obliques did get some work in, keeping that body up. Deep breath in, again, push it on out. Stretch those arms forward, let that upper body hang. Last time, deep breath in, push it on out. You guys are all done. I hope you got a great workout in. Thank you so much for stopping by, for burning it out with me. Look at this, I'm just dripping sweat. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, go Bears.